Hi, I'm Jeremy Davis, your race director for PPD Beach to Battleship 2015. We're here in Wilmington, North Carolina, filming your athlete meetings for a couple of reasons. Number one, last year it eliminated all the long lines we saw at Packet Pickup during the three scheduled on-site meeting times. And two, so that you can get all the information you need about PPD Beach to Battleship from the comfort of your own home. Keep in mind, after the video, there'll be a short test that you have to take. You'll print off a certificate after you complete the test and you'll bring that certificate with you to packet pickup to collect your packet. Now, if you are one of those people who need the on-site Q&A session, there will be a Q&A session on Friday during the athlete dinner so that you can stop, take the time, and ask any questions that this video or the website might not cover. On behalf of the Wilmington Family YMCA, Setup Events, the Town of Wrightsville Beach, and the City of Wilmington, I wanna welcome you to the Port City. Keep in mind, PPD Beach to Battleship is the largest fundraiser for the YMCA every year with 100% of net proceeds going directly to the YMCA. Now I like to begin all my PPD Beach to Battleship meetings with my favorite quote from Khalil Gibran. Out of suffering have emerged the strongest of souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. I look forward to seeing you on October 17th and giving you a few set of scars of your own. Maybe not physical scars, but emotional scars, spiritual scars that'll help you on your journey back home to become a better person after experiencing your PPD Beach to Battleship 2015. Schedule of events. Thursday is gonna be your first chance to pick up your PPD Beach to Battleship packet. That'll take place from noon until five at the Wilmington Convention Center. Your second chance to pick up your packet is going to be Friday. Friday packet pickup is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. During both of those times, the full expo will be open, and that will also be your first chance to pick up your PPD Beach to Battleship event merchandise. Bike check-in. Bike check-in is on Friday. That will take place at Transition 1 at the beach from noon to 7. Remember, you have to check in your bike on Friday. The name of the game at PPD Beach to Battleship, other than the 140.6 or the 70.3 miles you're gonna be traveling, is bags. Getting your stuff from all the different locations to where they need to be is a challenge to say the least. We need you to pay special attention to the bags to make our life a lot easier. If you're doing the full, you're gonna get five bags. Those bags are going to be T1 changing bag, T2 changing bag, bike special needs, run special needs, and your post-event gear bag. If you're doing the half, you're only getting three of those. T1 changing bag, T2 changing bag, and your post-event gear bag. I do wanna ask you to pack light. Volunteers have to move this stuff around, and the less stuff you have in your bags, the easier their day is going to be. Keep in mind, the most important thing about the bags is to label them well. You're gonna be given labels at Packet Pickup that have your event number, in addition to those, I suggest taking a Sharpie and at minimum writing your number on your bag. I also suggest decorating your bag in such a way that you would recognize if you saw it in a sea of 5,000 bags. Again, pack light. Make sure you place those bags in the proper location. The last thing you want to do is have your run shoes waiting for you after the swim or your bike shoes waiting for you after the bike. It doesn't work out so well. So T2 bag, make sure you place that inside Transition 2 at the convention center. T1 bag, make sure you place that at transition at the beach. And your bike special needs bags, run special needs bags, make sure you place those in the proper truck at T1. Keep in mind, you must check in your T2 bag on Friday. You also must check in your post event gear bag on Friday. All the other bags can be checked in on Friday, but they're not required to be checked in on Friday. If you are racing and you have a family member coming with you, we suggest not even using the post-event gear bag. Just have your family members have that bag with them. That way it's with you immediately after the finish. Otherwise, you have to walk back to the convention center, which is about three blocks. Again, keep in mind you may check in T1 and bike and run special needs bags on Saturday morning. If you are staying downtown, we highly recommend leaving your car downtown and taking one of the buses from the Hilton. You'll need to make a reservation for that spot, but take that bus from the Hilton that will take you to T1 on event morning. 
Transition area is going to open at 5.30 and body marking will be taking place from 5.30 to 8 a.m. You'll need to start boarding the buses to the swim start at 6 a.m. Keep in mind, if it's a cold day, it's just as cold at the swim start as it is at T1. So get on those buses early, make sure you're not waiting to the last minute. And you have a short walk from where they drop you off of those buses to the swim start location. So give yourself ample time to get to the start, which is 7.30. Transitionary closes at 8 o'clock. So if you're in the half, you need to be out of transition by 8 o'clock. That doesn't go for relay team members. If you're a relay team member, you're more than welcome inside transition until your swimmer gets done with the swim and heads back into T1. It's a 7.30 start time. Keep that in mind if you're doing the full 8.30 start time for the half. If you're doing the half, your buses are going to leave at 7 a.m. Again, get on the buses early and wait for the start at the start location. That will give you plenty of time to get to where you need to be and not feel rushed. Also, there's rent to johns at both swim start locations. Now onto the fun stuff, the actual courses. The swim course, 2.4 miles, 1.2 miles, depending on the distance. I always like to say this is the greatest swim course in that if you're a Doritos bag, you can finish this event in under the cutoff time. So enjoy your Doritos while you're training. Think of yourself as a Dorito bag and you'll make it no problem. For the half, you're gonna be starting in waves, about 100 to 150 people per wave every five minutes. The actual wave layout will be seen in the booklet, which will be mailed to you a few weeks before the event. This year, you're going to have a huge push taking you from the tip of Wrightsville Beach to Seapath Marina at the swim finish. We're looking for some record times. Just so you know, the world's fastest swim time is here at PPD Beach to Battleship, 36 minutes for the full 2.4 miles. Enjoy. Again, you'll see your waves in the booklet. They'll be split up into waves of approximately 100 people for the half. Uh, make sure you swim with the proper wave and make sure you go off at the proper time. Otherwise, we'll have to DQ you and nobody wants that. Keep in mind for this swim course, wetsuits are mandatory. You have to wear a wetsuit. Our medical team has asked us to do that and so we make that a mandatory situation every year. It'll make you faster, it'll make you warmer, and it'll make everybody's lives a lot easier. You're swimming in a channel. As you can see from the course map right here, straight point to point, you're swimming in a channel. Stay between the shores and you'll be fine. There'll be two orange buoys that you need to pay attention to. Once you get to those buoys, those are your turn buoys, making a left-hand turn and then heading over to Sea Path Marina. Again, take a look at the course maps. If you even have Google Earth, you can take a look at it uh, and you'll understand the course really well. Main thing is just swim straight and you'll get to the finish. When you get done with the swim, the swim, there'll be wetsuit strippers on the dock. They will take your wetsuits off for you. You have no problems getting those off and you'll run with those wetsuits to transition one. I do ask that you have something on underneath your wetsuit whenever they strip that off. Never a good thing if you don't. When you get done with the swim, there'll also be heated freshwater showers. Make sure you take the time in those showers. If you've never swam in salt water, you're going to want to get as much of that off before you head onto the bike. 112 miles of chafing does not do a body good. And then if you wear eyeglasses, keep in mind there will be an eyeglass handoff at the swim start. Those eyeglasses will be waiting for you at the swim finish. You have about a 400 yard run from the swim finish to T1. Your swim time will include about 200 of those yards. Grab your changing bags and then head into the tent. If you're doing the half, your bags are going to be at your bike rack. If you're doing the full and you need to change clothes, grab your bag and head into the tent. If you're doing the half and you would like to change clothes, please use the changing tents. There's also Porta Johns inside of T1. When you are done, this is very important, take all of your swim gear, put it into your bag and tie that bag. Volunteers are moving these bags, obviously 2300 of these and they're throwing them into a truck. I mean, they're gingerly placing them into the truck. Make sure you have it tied tightly or your stuff will come out and you'll have a hard time finding it. So just take the five seconds to tie your stuff up. Those wetsuits I know are very expensive. When you get to your bike, remember that you are gonna collect your bike in T1. Volunteers will not do that for you. So where you left it, head to your bike and run your bike out to the road. That's where you'll start the 112 or 56 mile bike course. 
And the last thing is you can leave your helmet and your shoes on your bike if you would like. They do not need to be in your bags. Now we're going to move on to the bike course. If you aren't aware, you're going to be biking 112 miles for the full and 56 for the half. As you can see from the course map right here, piece of cake. Memorize that and you're good to go. Or just follow the guy in front of you. Or you can follow the markings on the pavement, the signs, and all the volunteers that will be out on the course. You should have no trouble finding your way through the course. Again, those turns are marked with orange spray chalk on the pavement. Volunteers will be in orange vests and they'll be pointing you in the right direction. There'll be police at every intersection, so you do not have to worry about traffic. Couple things to, of note on this course. The first mile and the last mile, you're gonna be crossing a graded bridge. They have recently redone the bridge on mile one. So those of you who have raced this before, the grates are just a little bit higher. Be careful. Go straight, don't try to turn, don't try to do anything crazy on the bridge. You'll have no problem getting over it, but just be aware that it's there at mile one, at mile 111 when you come back in on the course. There's not gonna be covering this year. We have found that the covering of the carpet makes it worse, so you're gonna be going over the bridges as they are. If it's wet, we'll address that on race morning and let you know what the plan is for that situation. Also, you are a cyclist, you have the right to the road. There are gonna be several bike lanes, but as you know, traveling in bike lanes, there's gonna be debris in there. Feel free to stay in the lane as most of these lanes will be blocked off for you. There will be neutral bike support on the course. If you have any problems whatsoever on the course, someone will get to you. It might take a little time, but they will get to you. You're gonna encounter six water stops on the bike course. The exact locations can be found in that athlete booklet. that will be posted online. Also, it'll be mailed to you the weeks before the event. At these water stops, you're gonna have water, hammer heed, cliff shots, bananas, oranges, and cliff bars. When you get done with the bike, you're gonna be heading inside of the Wilmington Convention Center. T2's inside of there. You'll hand off your bike to a volunteer once you cross over the timing mat, and you will then go collect your changing bag for T2 and head into the changing tent area. Inside of the changing tent area, you're going to have running water and restrooms. Uh, so it's a very nice, enjoyable changing tent, much different than most events that you're going to find. When you're done changing, again, take all your bike stuff, put it in that bag, tie it tight, and bring it with you to hand to the volunteer at the T2 handoff location. That bag then goes into the gear collection room with all the rest of your bags for you to collect after the event. On to the run course. Two loops for the full, one loop for the half, 26.2 and 13.1. All the turns are gonna be marked by pavement markings. They're also gonna have volunteers with flags. You're not gonna have any trouble finding your way through the course, unless you're the first guy. Well, you'll probably be fine too. There's police at every intersection. One thing to keep in mind is stay inside the cones. Lots of these roads are on shared roads where you have a lane that'll be coned off and traffic has a lane. Obviously, for safety reasons, we don't want you outside of those cones. So stay inside the cones and everybody's day will be a lot better. When you get to Greenfield Lake, you're actually running on the running path. So when you get to that location, volunteers will direct you onto the running path and around Greenfield Lake, you will stay on the path the entire time. The entire course is going to be lit by light towers and existing street lights. So if you're going to be out there after dark, which is about 6 or 6.30, just know that you're going to be well lit. Also, there's a short out and back section for both the full and the half at the beginning of the run that takes you up to PPD before you turn around and come back past the finish line to start the run. I know it's cruel and you actually have to pass the finish line for those of you doing the full to start lap two. Yeah, we're mean. When it's dark, grab a glow necklace. Make sure you wear that glow necklace. We want to keep you safe. You want to make sure that everybody out there can see you. And your aid stations on the run course are going to be located every mile. At those locations, you're going to find a smorgasbord of things. Heed, water, cliff shots, cliff blocks, grapes, chicken broth, pretzels, chocolate fountains, Big Macs, you name it, it's going to be out there. And if there's something they don't have, ask and I bet you the next time you come around, it will be there. The worst part of my job is 
to enforce the cutoff times. Keep in mind that if I have to pull you off the course, I do so with a heavy heart. I know you've trained, I know you've worked hard, but we have cutoff times for a reason. The short of it is two hours and 20 minutes for the full, you need to be out of the swim. By 5.45 p.m., you need to be off the bike, and by 12.30 a.m., you need to be done with the run. When you get done with the event, the finish line is gonna be the place to be. You're right there in beautiful downtown Wilmington. We've got beer there, we've got food there, we've got music there, kids zones there, all kind of things that you need. We've also got the best medical facility that you're going to find at any event in the world, hands down. New Hanover Regional Medical Center has done a phenomenal job bringing in their mobile hospital. Hopefully none of you will ever see that, but if you do, know that you're in good hands. Your spectators, your friends, your family, they're gonna to get to enjoy downtown Wilmington while you're out busting your hump. Let them go grab a beer at Front Street Brewery, enjoy all the great places that there are to enjoy downtown. Just make sure that you know, or they know, what time you're gonna be finishing so they don't have a one beer too many and miss you at the finish line. And the final thing to keep in mind for spectators is that if you're going to have them pick up your gear, you'll be given a buddy pass at Packet Pickup. That buddy pass must be signed. If you're racing the aqua bike, keep in mind your finish is at transition two. You will cross the timing mats, hand your bike to a volunteer, and then go change into whatever clothes you want to change to. At that point, make your way to the finish line, pick up your finisher's medal and your finisher's pajama pants. Relay teams. Keep in mind all your exchanges will be done at your bike rack. That is where you'll exchange your timing chip Velcro strap and your timing chip. You can be at your bike rack ready to go once the swimmer comes in. And then there's a special T2 relay exchange point at the convention center. Again, all three of you come to the finish line, pick up your medals and your finisher's pajama pants. Remember, you guys did not make it here alone. Your friends and family helped you get here. Give them a big thanks for everything they've put up with to help you get to the start line. We wanna make sure that they have a great time here at PPD Beach to Battleship, and there's a few things that if they know ahead of time will make their lives a lot easier. One thing we ask them not to do is drive to the swim start. Wrightsville Beach Police will not allow them to do that. We welcome them at the swim start. They can bike there, they can run there, they can moped there, but they are not gonna be able to drive vehicles into the swim start area. We're also gonna ask that they're not on the swim finish docks. We're gonna ask that they're not inside transition. And we're also gonna ask that they not ride the buses to the swim start. Otherwise, they can have free reign of the event and have a great time. There's a few other key pieces of information that will be very helpful for you and for everyone who's coming to PPD Beach to Battleship with you. Go to beachtobattleship.com, scour that webpage, and all the information that you're gonna need about the event is there. A few of those things of note, points map. Look for that tab at beachtobattleship.com. Points map is new technology that we're using that allows you to find your way around the course, around Wilmington, to all the important points along the PPD Beach to Battleship course. You can use that on your smartphone, you can use it on your laptop or your iPad. Find driving directions of all different sorts of things that are important to Wilmington and this event. Take the time to check it out. Cliff Bar has a nutritional information page at beachtobattleship.com. Take the time to look through that and learn about the nutrition that you're going to have on your course and learn about the cliff zones, which will have the cliff blocks and their cliff shots. The special event tickets, those are gonna go on sale very soon. That's for your athlete dinner, that's for the athlete brunch, that's for your Hilton bus tickets. All the things that you're gonna need outside of the event, that's where you're gonna find it underneath the shop section. That's also where we're going to find your merchandise after the event. Finally, the FAQ section is where you're going to find the bulk of the miscellaneous type questions that you might have. Event dates for future years, lodging information, what kind of medical support will be on the course. Go to the FAQ section, scour that page, and you're going to find everything you need to know about the event. Finally, Registration for 2015 opens on November 1st. The event date is October 17th, 2015. Thank you for taking the time to look through this video. Remember, now you're gonna be asked to take a short quiz and print off your certificate. Bring that certificate with you to packet pickup and you'll be allowed to get your packet. And finally, registration for the 2016 event opens November 1st. The event date, 
is October 22nd, 2016. Keep in mind, you're going to be now asked to take a short test. When you complete the test, print off your certificate, bring it with you to packet pickup, and we'll take care of you there. Again, thank you for racing with us, and I look forward to seeing you at the start line of PPD Beach to Battleship.